is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have the MDT Royal Rumble official match card preview and predictions. Of course, you guys know how this thing works. We're going to run through the entire card of the Pick Fed show, and I'm going to give you all of the matches, all of the feud information, everything leading up to this match that will take place at the MDT Royal Rumble. We're going to do it just like I do my WWE predictions. I'm going to run through the feud, you know, talk about everything, my personal thoughts on the feud itself, and we're going to go all the way through until we get to the end. There are only five matches on this card card and this is our fourth ever pay-per-view in the history of our pick fed but it is absolutely going to be the biggest show that we have ever done so with that being said guys let's get straight into this match card all right guys so our first matchup is the fatal four-way death match for the mdt extreme championship between kevin owens bobby lashley no way jose and john morrison now you guys know the extreme championship is on the line 24 7 which means anything can happen anytime any place anywhere in the arena it's false count anywhere this thing could get out of hand between these four men the tensions have been building between all four of course things started off at mdt money in the bank bobby trashley came out of nowhere and pinned rvd in the middle of the men's money in the bank for mdt live he lost the extreme championship bobby lashley would then go into mdt live and he would get kicked from behind by john morrison his skull landed on the extreme championship itself he would then pin bobby trashley and morrison would become your extreme champion later on no way jose would uh would bash bobby lashley over the head with his you know his signature stereo john morrison came up to no way jose and was like you know what that was pretty cool what you did to trashley and then jose did the same thing to morrison knocking him unconscious and then the trade of course. Kevin Owens came over from Vindication in the trade after sold out for AJ Styles. And Kevin Owens was just wandering through the locker room and found the unconscious Extreme Champion John Morrison and pinned him to become the Extreme Champion. And since then, he has been attacked by Bobby Lashley and John Morrison. And Jose has not been far behind. He's been creeping on him. And all four men have led to this matchup. All men vying for that Extreme Championship. Eric Bischoff did make this death match official for the MDT Royal Rumble. And I cannot wait for this one. I think this is going to be a it's a possible show stealer. I think that these men are going to be ready to compete, and it's going to be a very interesting matchup indeed, and can KO win in his first title defense here with the Extreme Championship on MDT Live. Next up, guys, we have the MDT Iron Man Championship match between Rusev and Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes did win the number one contendership after he defeated Drew McIntyre and Elias in a triple threat number one contenders match on Vindication. In that triple threat match, Rusev and Aiden English were sitting ringside, and they did get involved. Actually, all four men have sort have just been wrapped up in this feud going into it. Drew McIntyre has been hanging around the Iron Man title. Elias, after his debut, you know, uh, Aiden English interrupted his concert, and they got into it, leading to a huge brawl. So Elias and Drew McIntyre may be not that far behind when looking at this matchup. It will be no DQ for sure, and we don't know exactly what the stipulation could be, but it is, you know, just like the Extreme Championship, the Iron Man Championship is a stipulation-only belt, so it's not going to be a regular singles match. There will be some sort of stipulation in this matchup, and it's going to be interesting to see. Will Aiden English help out Rusev? Will Bullet Club come to the aid of Cody Rhodes in this matchup? I can't wait to see how Rusev fares against Cody Rhodes here with his Iron Man title. He did win the championship in a triple threat match versus Cody and Drew at MDT sold out. So this is going to be a very fun title defense for Rusev. Our third matchup of the night is the MDT United States Championship match between Shelton Benjamin and the Masked Man. The Masked Man has been running around MDT live causing hell for Shelton Benjamin, man. He got away from Dean Ambrose and the Shield and immediately afterwards he's getting attacked from behind by the Masked Man. And nobody knows who this man is, man. He's just running around MDT live causing all kinds of hell. He's got MVP and Zack Ryder in his corner helping him do the dirty work. Shelton Benjamin not only has those two guys to worry about on the outside of the ring, but he also is dealing with some midsection problems and injuries. You know, he's got bruised ribs. He's got some, you know, internal damage going on with uh, with bruises and injuries on the inside to his sternum and his chest and his stomach. So it's going to be very interesting to see if Shel Benjamin can overcome the odds here versus the masked man, MVP, and Zack Ryder. MVP and Zack Ryder have been banned from ringside by Eric Bischoff, but that does not mean that these guys won't run down there anyways and help out the their masked friend here in the masked man will the masked man be revealed that's going to be interesting for sure let, let me know down in the comment section below guys do you think the masked man will be unveiled and do you th who do you think it is who is running around mdc live attacking shelton benjamin also did the masked man assault rvd you know eric bischoff really thinks the masked man had something to do with that attack so that is going to be also 
interesting to see if we get any more news on RVD regarding the Masked Man and Shelton Benjamin situation. So this matchup should be very nice. It's going to be cool to see Shelton Benjamin sort of, you know, get that revenge on the Masked Man after all of this. No stipulations in this matchup, but I'm sure Shelton Benjamin is definitely going to give it his all versus the Masked Man. Next up, guys, we have our triple threat match for the MDT Championship. The champion John Cena putting his belt on the line versus CM Punk and Roman Reigns. CM Punk did defeat AJ Styles at MDT sold out, sending him over to Vindication, giving him a lot of momentum, putting him in the front seat for the MDT Championship, and then Roman Reigns aligning himself with the Usos, becoming a top player, just dominating the forces of MDT Live here after turning heel and joining his bloodline brother. So it's going to be a very epic clash here between the champion Cena, Roman Reigns, and CM Punk. I cannot wait to see how all three men come together here at the MDT Royal Rumble. Things of note here, in a triple threat match, there are no disqualifications so that is something to definitely keep in mind. Also, John Cena doesn't have to be pinned to lose his MDT championship. Roman Reigns or CM Punk could also be pinned. So John Cena could lose his title with somebody else getting pinned. Also, what about the Usos, the Bloodline? They could easily get involved in this matchup as well. They have been helping Roman Reigns out left and right, attacking Cena, attacking Punk, disturbing the contract signing. There are a lot of ways this thing could go down, but I am very interested to see if John Cena can come in here with all three men and leave with that MDT title. He won it at MDT Money in the Bank over Edge. He defended it against Edge in a rematch on the next MDT Live show and retained. And then he put the title on the line versus Dolph Ziggler at MDT sold out and retained. So very uh, worthy champion here is John Cena. And he is undefeated thus far in MDT. So it's going to be great to see how all three men come together here at the MDT Royal Rumble. I cannot wait for this matchup. And for our main event, guys, we have the match that everybody is looking forward to and what the whole show is all about. It is the 30-man Royal Rumble here. In the main event, we have 11 confirmed entries. I do believe I could be leaving somebody out. So if I have left somebody out, please let me know down in the comment section below. But all of these men have won qualifiers or declared themselves into the Royal Rumble match themselves. Kenny Omega, the elite champion, says that nobody deserves a chance at his elite championship at My Damn Nation. So he's going to enter the Royal Rumble himself and try to win it all. Other confirmed entrants for the MDT Royal Rumble is Chris Jericho, Dolph Ziggler, Randy Orton, Edge, AJ Styles, Neville, Kofi Kingston, Kurt Hawkins, Cesaro, and... And Jeff Hardy. Now this is a star-studded lineup already guys but we only have 11 entries confirmed and I think that Kenny Omega has declared that the Every member of the Bullet Club will also be entered into this matchup trying to help his odds. So Cody Rhodes, Marty Skrull, and the Bucks of Youth are also confirmed for the Royal Rumble, giving us a total number of 15. So 15 confirmed entrants for the Royal Rumble, and I honestly do not know who the next 15 are, guys. We could have surprises, we could have debuts, we could have returns. I mean, who knows? We, anything could happen here at the MDT Royal Rumble. So it will be 30 men over the top rope. You guys know how the Royal Rumble works. The winner of the Royal Rumble will get a championship opportunity of their choice at My Damn Nation. Whether it be the Elite Championship or the MDT Championship, that will be up to those who win the Royal Rumble. So that is uh, that is completely up in the air. We don't know if it could be a Vindication Superstar. It could be an MDT Live Superstar. It could be somebody completely off the wall. I cannot wait for this thing. It's going to be epic, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think who is going to win the MDT Royal Rumble down in the comment section below. But that is pretty much your MDT Royal Rumble show preview, match card, and review. A few things I do want to know, guys. I know everybody's going to ask when it is, and if you're listening right now, when is the MDT Royal Rumble? I will upload it as soon as I am finished filming it and editing it. You guys know that I work diligently to produce these shows, to edit these shows, and make these shows for you guys, and you know that it will be worth a wait. So when it is posted, that is when it will be posted. I cannot give you a timeline because I don't want to put myself on a time crunch, therefore taking the fun out of it, taking the creativity out of it, and ruining my, my mindset, ruining the fun of it. I want it to be the best show possible possible and with that being said guys I'm going to I'm going to get it done as soon as I possibly can I promise you that you guys know I love the pig fed I love you guys interacting with it and I love your reactions to it and I love producing these shows for you guys so with that being said I think that sold out was around 3,300 pictures total possibly 3,500 and I'm aiming for the Royal Rumble to be somewhere around four to 4,500 pictures because we have a whole MDT Royal Rumble to get through and I think I'm up to about 1,400 pictures as of now so so you guys can see I'm not quite halfway done with it but I am almost there and I plan this week to get as much work as 
I have done already again. So I'm going to try and double or triple my workload on this pick fed for this week and grind really, really hard and get it up to you guys as soon as possible. I know that it's frustrating waiting. I know that we've been hyping it up for months and months, but I, you know it will be worth it when it is finally here and it will not disappoint. But I have some things for you guys. I need you to comment down below all of your predictions. I also want to know if you guys want to make your own predictions video, I would love to watch them. That is one of my favorite things about the pick fed is listening to your guys' ideas, listening to your guys' thoughts. Who do you think is going to win? Where do you think the feuds are going to go? Who your favorite superstars are? All of that stuff. I love to interact about the pick fed. So please, if you want to make predictions videos, I will watch every single prediction video made. I will comment on every single prediction video made. And if you would like to, you can DM me your thoughts on the MDT Royal Rumble, any predictions you have. I am all ears to listen to it. And I am looking forward to those videos. So I know that my boy Nate and my boy Elite Player usually make predictions videos. So I'm looking forward to those pay-per-view predictions. If you guys want to break down everything and, you know, review it and predict it, I am open to that as well. And I cannot wait for this show, man. I promise you it's going to be absolutely epic. It's going to be the best show that I've done so far. If you thought sold out or money in the bank or blackout, blackout was absolutely terrible compared to now. But I promise you this will be the absolute best pick fed show that I have ever produced. And it is going to be detailed. And you guys know we are going to bring it all. And we never leave any stone unturned. But that does it for my match preview and predictions for the MDT Royal Rumble guys comment down below your predictions or make your own videos i love you guys so much cannot wait for this show subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe and wwe figure related videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my name toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you